For NASCAR fans of all ages, video games are a way to get more immersed into the sport. But what happens when that immersion goes horribly wrong and you're stuck on the game way longer than you anticipated? This is the most cautions in NASCAR video gaming history. Guys, if you're suffering from hair loss or worried about your hair, then look no further because Bosley has you covered. The sooner you take action, the more options you'll have for keeping and restoring your hair. Bosley has both surgical and non-surgical solutions to not only keep the hair you have, but also grow it thicker. Right now, Bosley is giving away a free information kit and $250 gift card towards a procedure. Trust me, you don't want to wait. Just get the information and learn what you can be doing right now to keep or grow your hair. There is a reason millions of men and women have come to Bosley for the answers to their hair loss and hair restoration questions. People trust Bosley. They are truly the leaders in hair restoration. At the conclusion of this video, head on over to bosley.com forward slash BFM and get your free information kit and $250 Bosley gift card. Again, that's bosley.com forward slash BFM and you can get a free cost estimate and find the right solution for you. Once again, a huge thanks to the fine folks over at Bosley and you for supporting this channel. NASCAR The Game 2013 was released on July 21st of that year, but only for Steam users. If you had NASCAR The Game inside line for consoles, a 2013 DLC pack was available for purchase. The full 2013 game was only available on the PC. While some fans said it played exactly like NASCAR The Game Inside Line, others had a much different story. While Steam users praised parts of the game, there were some obvious issues, the number one being the AI racing way too aggressively. Steam users had reviews saying that they had raced fine on the super speedways, but for other tracks, the AI would not give you a break. These issues had minor improvements, but there was never a solid fix. It is on this game with all the AI issues that a streamer we're going to be talking about throughout the rest of the video would set a NASCAR gaming record eight years after this video game's release. Do y'all want to see some magic? Look at this. Watch this. All right. I'm bringing you in. Hello, everybody. I'm Michael Moobs. Welcome back to NASCAR 2013. I'm going to make a room disappear. Michael Roots has been one of the most beloved content creators on NASCAR YouTube for quite some time. Aside from playing NASCAR games in his videos, he also streams them, which includes 100% race streams. So he decided to do a 500 lap Bristol race, racing as Jeff Gordon on NASCAR The Game 2013. It was all a part of his Final Four challenge that he also does, where he picks three other random drivers and tries to beat them at the end of the race. He purposely qualified in last place in an effort to make it much more entertaining. This isn't the first time he decided to play this game. However, this is the first time he decided to do a race in its entire length. Racing with the troubled AI in short races is one thing, but racing against them in a 100% race at Bristol is a much different story. This is gonna suck. We're underway! Final four! NASCAR 2013 at Bristol, bitch! Oh, the wreck it! I didn't do that! That was not me! I ran into a whole bunch of freaking people, though. Cyber Fever goes around! He got into the wall. I like a game where the AI can wreck as well. Oh, no! We got another one. What is that, Steve Harvey? Steve Harvey goes around! Richard Childress, bad day to be Richard Childress. Ow! Oh! Three wide does not work at the Bristol all the time. Redneck Jesus, final four competitor, gets into it with a whole bunch of myriad of people. Fourth caution. I haven't caught the single one, mind you. Now, none of these have been my fault. Bushy, what are you doing to Blanket? It's Braytona. I'm finally involved in one. They're wrecking. God bless it. Holy shit. I thought 
I fucked it. I... Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna... I wanna fix it. Come on! No DNF! Come on! Come on. What? Oh, God! Strabole, park it! They ch oh, thank work three wide. He was an un expecting. Looking low. All right. With me taking my time as they don't take their time. They don't take their time. They're just go, 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 go! Damn. Fuck! Oh, oh, oh. Ten cautions in the first 60 laps. Early on in the stream, Michael is aware that he's in for a very long one. The problems that the Steam users had pointed out with this game eight years earlier are on full display. Michael is going to do his best at this part in the stream to try and race not as aggressively, but quickly finds out that no matter what he does, the AI in this game are not going to give him a break. Where do I go? Oh my lord, oh my god, oh my god. What the fuck was that? They wrecked. They fucking wrecked again. They're not DNFing, that's a big problem. God. Yeah, because it wasn't. What the fuck was that? Dumb fuck sent it on me. Why? 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 He stuck it underneath me, and that's that's. That was gnarly! Not even close to halfway through the race and already up to 24 cautions. But did you notice how I started skipping a few cautions here or there? Well, that's because there are just simply too many for this video to count. The title isn't clickbait. When I said he set a record, he for sure set a record. I have never seen this many cautions in a NASCAR video game before. The frustration levels from Michael during the stream get worse and worse with every counting caution. Of course! Damn it! Uh, was that my fault? But did I cause them to go three wide like that? Probably. Come on, come on. Jemai, what the fuck? 50th yellow. Fly guy hello, cab hello. Three wide, two inside. Fuck you all, you fuck you fly. fucking people. God fucking damn it. Far inside, Jay. Three wide, two inside. I lost it. At least I'm not in it. What a stupid ass. Stupid fucking moron. Fucking idiot. Fucking stupid fucking...
Here we go. Watch your inside. Check your inside. Whoa, oh, great thing, man. Whoa, don't let her get away. Am I am I the am I the mayor of fucking Loopy Town? What the fuck? Unicorn did I ride in on? The average streamer would have simply hit the pause button and quit the game a lot sooner. But not NASCAR gaming streamer Michael Mrutz. He sucks it up for the entirety of the stream and at the end of it is just trying to finish. He eventually reaches the legendary NASCAR gaming milestone of 80 cautions. And right when you think it's done, it's not. At the end he adds one more caution to boot and we have a NASCAR video gaming record of 81 cautions in one full race. Luckily for Michael, the suffering was over. Ryan Newman's AI went on to win this race while Michael was able to salvage a 15th place finish, getting him the victory in his very own Final Four challenge. As you can see from the replay screen, there were so many cautions that it simply couldn't count all of them. This is one of the most chaotic NASCAR video gaming streams of all time on the platform. In total, the stream was 4 hours and 21 minutes, with 81 cautions taking up nearly half of the race. How was Michael able to finish this entire race with all the chaos? Well, lucky for you, I was able to ask him. Michael, how we feeling? I knew it was going to be a long race. 500 laps, that's, that's a lot of laps. I've done it before, I've done it on NASCAR Heat 5. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I think I finally realized that I was in a lot of trouble on the seventh caution. We hit our seventh yellow by lap 50. 50 laps times 10, that's to complete the race. That means we're on pace for 70 yellows. Now you look back and we topped. The 70 yellows. Caution after caution after caution. I'm pretty sure my longest green flag run was less than 20 laps. I haven't gone back into the stream to relive it because I don't want to. Because it was horrific. Every caution amounted to about three laps of yellow. So, doing the math, 81 cautions, that's 243 laps of 500. The AI just wouldn't give me a break. They were all up on my ass constantly. My car did not handle worth a damn. I was just a roadblock for them most of the time because the AI, they don't slip. They don't lose their grip. They are always just as fast as they were at the beginning. Meanwhile, when I'm starting to have a hard time handling, they're just driving right the hell through me. That's why the yellows kept coming out. I couldn't handle it. Pun intended. And then on top of all this, I'm running a final four challenge as this race is going. I'm squaring off against three other guys. Whoever finishes the highest amongst us is your champion. I've got that pressure pushing down on me. Somehow, some way, I was able to get it together there at the end. And by the 81st caution, we were at the top step of the final four. Now that part of it feels good. What doesn't feel good is that I spent four hours of my life running a race with 81 cautions. This could have easily been done in under three hours. While he's not going to be able to get all of those hours back, at least he has one of the most historic streams on NASCAR YouTube. Being able to survive a 100% race with that many cautions in total is something to be proud of. If you want to see the stream in its entirety with every single caution and rage moment, click the link down in the description below. Also, go subscribe to Michael's channel channel for entertaining NASCAR gaming content. A huge congratulations to Michael Roots for holding the record for the most cautions in NASCAR video gaming history. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time. Holy Christ, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I completed all those laps. That's some hours of my life I wish I had back. <laughs>